regarding the patellar resurfacing. Pros are restore patellar height and optimize extensor mechanism liver arm. You address a problem and reduce the reoperation risk and improve an anterior knee pain. Cons are over a section can lead to flat fracture, AVN. You can overstuff a patella, loss of extension, anterior knee pain, and patellar plan tra tracking. As per Campbell, no difference in, M in knee scores in when compared both of them. Nice guidelines. Strong evidence suggests that resurfacing improve and is cost effective as compared to no resurfacing because it reduces readmissions. Normal thickness around 25 millimeter. Minimal bone thickness, critical thickness is 12 millimeter to avoid fracture. New implants are patella friendly. Deepening trochlear groove, increased conformity of the patella to the trochlear groove. Patelloplasty improves outcome of the total knee arthroplasty if patella is not resurfaced. RCT 2011. Patellar fractures, periprosthetic patellar fractures, type 1, stable implant and extensor mechanism intact, type 2, stable implant, extensor mechanism disrupted, 3A, loose implant and preserved bone stock, 3B, loose implant and loss of bone stock. Increased risk with a central peg implantation, uncemented fixation and metal backed fixation. Petrofemoral arthroplasty, a one implant used in isolated petrofemoral arthritis, very young patient, less than 50 years, Contraindication is petrofemoral instability, medial lateral arthritis, high demand individual false expectations, inflammatory arthritis, BMI of more than 30.